hello friends today in this tutorial we will be seeing that how to handle error handling inside your angular 9 application so whenever you make any kind of http request inside your angular 9 application we will be looking at how to handle errors so this is a brand new angular 9 application i have the app folder inside this there is a app.component.html file here i will write the basic html which is angular 9 http error handling example like this just give it a title error handling example and inside the body we will be having a, again a heading so this will be angular 9 http error handling example so we will be looking from scratch so we will be having after this a button which will be having get data as a label and we will be attaching a on click event listener to it so when we click on this button we will execute a function which will be data get this will be the function like this and now in order to make any sort of http request inside your angular 9 application we make request inside services so just go to command prompt in, inside this folder and we need to create a service which will be very easy ng generate service and we need to have the services folder inside this we will create this uh, api service like this so it, it will create the services folder inside our uh, like this so you will see that it will create the services folder you can see that it has successfully created it and now we will be writing the code in order to send the http uh, call for ma making the http call you need to import some modules so just go to the your app.module.typescript file and here you just need to include a module which will be located inside at the rate angular slash common slash http and here inside this we have this uh, http uh, client module that you need to import it and also add this inside your imports array like this http client module and now after that guys you need to go to your service which is uh, api service dot typescript file and here you also need to import the http client like this http client like this from angular common http so just include this and now after including this we will be making a simple request so inside the constructor we will be having the private variable which will be http which is of the type http client so now we will make the request the function will be very simple get data inside our service so we will call this method inside our component so get data and basically it will be of the type observable and we also need to import this so if i just import this so it will automatically import for me observable from rxjs so and this will be of type any like this and inside this we need to return a observable so we will use the this keyword to access our http instance so this contains a get method and we will be passing a url to make the http request so just after before this we will create a variable which will be hold the address which will be https colon colon slash slash api.github.com slash users so this is a url and uh, after that after the get also we need to write this uh, angular brackets any and uh, after that we need to pipe we need to make use of the pipe method here we need to chain it so pipe and inside this we will use the catch error method like this so this is a method we have successfully imported this catch error from rxjs operators like this you can see that and inside this we will pass a function which is this dot handle error so this function we will make so basically this will catch the error which for which is returned by this handle error so now we will make this function handle error like this so this will take the error object here like this and now it will return the it will throw the error like this so we will throw the error throw error we also need to import this so let me just see if it is automatically imported not and here you just need to import this 
just after the observer will import this throw error like this and now you will not see error so here we can just throw any kind of error so let's suppose I need to send a error uh, which is uh, we can get the message by error dot message like this or if the error doesn't contain anything we can just pass server error like this server error like this so this completes the service guys we need to subscribe to this method inside of a component and the component that we are using is app.component.ts file this is a file here and now we just need to import this service so it is very easy import and this is located inside the services folder so services and there inside this file which is api service.ts file and inside this we have our service which is api service service and similarly we also need to have a constructor here also just declare a api private variable api service which is of the type uh, api service service close the constructor by a set of curly brackets and here we will declare a simple error variable which is of the type string and inside this guys we will be uh, writing the function that we have binded to the button which is uh, data get so whenever we click this button we will execute this function which is data get so this is a function and now inside this function we need to get the service which is this dot api service it contains a method which is uh, get data and inside this we need to subscribe to this method so this will return the data to us in the form of like this we will use the arrow notation like this es6 convention and we can just console log the data as well console log data and put a comma here and also it returns the error because we have made the catch error function also so inside the error we can just console log the error also console log error and now basically if I refresh the application so it is just building this application compiled successfully if I reload the application you will see that angular 9 HTTP error handling example if I get data so it will return me the data 30 items are returned here you can see that so we are successfully fetching the data from the API but I if I make any sort of uh, change inside the URL let's suppose I make it from user to user so now this is not a correct URL now basically it will return me the error you can see that HTTP failure response for this 401 unauthorized and uh, I can just display this error inside our uh, uh, HTML file by just uh, this dot error the variable of error is equal to error like this and now we can go to the app dot component file and inside double curly brackets we can display this error also and also one one other thing we can do we can also display the data as well so just here inside our we can display we can create a data variable as well data which is of the type string and we can also say this dot data is equal to data and now basically if I refresh the application if I get data you will see that HTTP failure response for uh, 401 unauthorized so now if I make just change this URL completely the wrong URL now you will see a different error if I you can see that unknown error zero unknown error and now if I change it back to the correct URL let's suppose to users now it will display the data to us so this is the data here you can see that these are a set of objects here so it is displaying it so now we have in this video we have seen that how to handle errors inside your angular 9 application so whenever you are making HTTP calls to any sort of API in the internet so thanks very much for watching this video